have the rapidity equal to zero when PZ is essentially zero. So if the particle is entirely in the xy plane, the, rapi the rapidity is zero. On the other hand, let's say if the particle is moving along the z-axis, what happened in that case, we have PZ, or the energy is essentially if the particle is moving in the z-axis, in that case, E is essentially PZ, so in the bottom of this denominator, you basically have zero. And then we, what that leads to is you have a natural log of something divided by zero. So you have natural log of infinity, essentially, which basically gives you infinity here. So when, so you get a rapidity of infinity. So the, when the particle is moving in the positive direction of the beam axis, it becomes infinity. Sim similarly, we can show if the particle is moving in the negative z direction, the bottom term in the rapidity of the natural log, it becomes negative infinity, which gives you a natural log of negative infinity, which is basically negative infinity. So you get a uh, see the rapidity of negative infinity. So we can very well try to define the position of a particle based on this rapidity term. Now we're going to show that this rapidity is essentially invariant, which would be a good thing for the particle physicist because then you can essentially say or look into the particle's position along with its azimuthal angle. So we will go along. I will change the color. So that is the rapidity. So we can, one of, a few of the geometrical or trigonometrical identities that we will be using is hyperbolic tangent or tang. So tang of theta is basically equal to e to the theta. And this one, let me check one more time before I go along with it. Minus e to the minus theta divided by same thing, but added instead of subtracted. And the other identity that we will need is tang theta, or let me rewrite that. Tang of a negative theta is basically negative tang theta. So these are my some of the identities that we will be using as we go through the go through the whole video. So looking at this rapidity term it has one half, it has a natural log term. So we can just try to we can attempt to simplify it. And I will proceed with y is equal to Another way of writing it as the square root of E plus PZC divided by E minus PZC. Now, here comes the trick with the hyperbolic tangent that we will be using twice. So what we're trying to do here right now, we're just trying to write it in a very simpler term compared to this natural log term. So this, this expression is, yeah, it is used, but if you want, if you use this tang or hyperbolic tangent function, it can be right in a more simpler, a little bit tiny bit, I guess, more beautiful term. So that's what we're trying to attempt here. Now, this natural log, what we can do, oh, my bad. The reason we started this. If we write this expression like this, where we have an inverse hyperbolic tangent of the hyperbolic, I keep writing h before n, hyperbolic tangent of natural log 
of the same expression I will write down here. PVC divided by E minus PVC. That sounds weird, but anyway. So if we have inverse of a function of that function, that basically brings us to the original function that we have here. So we're not really doing much, we're just like messing around a tiny bit to see if it gives us something even simpler. Now, this is where it comes crucial. We already have this identity where the hyperbolic tangent is a function that can relate, that you, that can, you can utilize the, the exponential. So we can write down the inverse slash inverse tangent of it will be a it will be a rather big expression, but let's leave our heart and go with it. E to the natural log of square root of let me take the advantage of zooming in function f with let me just make it use a thinner font e plus pvc divided by e minus pvc and then we're looking back at this tangent uh, the identity this gives us e to the natural log of square root of the same expression e plus pvc divided by e minus pvc we will repeat with the denominator of this hyperbolic tangent with natural log of this is actually getting quite tiresome because of this what is the word that i'm looking for i can't multitask plus e to the natural log of e square root of e plus pvc e minus pvc closing down that um, entire expression go back to my usual thickness of the pen now we from ident natural log identity we know e to the natural log of a is basically a so this comes this big um, expression comes down to inverse hyperbolic tangent of square root of e plus p oh i totally forgot there's there's the negative theta negative theta that could have been a huge issue so negative negative p c c e minus PVC. Now here we have the minus, but this negative, let me change to a different color, this negative here and this negative here can be brought back, um, maybe I'm not explaining it right, so what I'm trying to say is if you have natural minus natural log of one half, this is the same as natural log of one half to the power minus one, which in turn is natural log of 2. We see the same case here and here with the minus in front of our natural log. So I will go ahead and use that. So this becomes square root of, now that gets flipped. So we have E minus PZC divided by E plus PZC whole thing divided by same expression as the numerator but we will just have a mi plus instead of a minus in the middle now this is kind of hard to talk while 
writing if the topics per don't pertain to the same things. And I'm also soon realizing that my vocabulary is very poor. Using a different color because I'm tired of this color now. 